topic. It's about basic stuff, like, I keep having these reoccurring thoughts about broke people. I knew people since I came down here to the island. They've been broke ever since I knew them. They never have anything really to get off of you. Like, I'm not saying they have anything to give. <coughs> they never have nothing to offer. It's not really they won't ever have nothing to offer. They already preconditioned their thoughts or their mind not to share with their friends. Good little boy out there. See, this is so hard. Sometimes I ask the question, who raised you? People probably thinking that's like a funny question, but sometimes you do really gotta ask the person who raised you. Like, I mean, where did you, where did you gather your concepts from? Like, There's times I wish I was back in New York. Because if you were to pass on my streets and see me up right now, you'd probably think I'm crazy. If I was in New York and my homies didn't see me up, they'd be like, yo, you ain't seen nothing yet? That's the first thing they They wouldn't think I'm crazy. They'd be like, you ain't seen no opposition yet? It's like, nah. But what we do at night, man, like, we pre niggas at night city, like, that breach our system, we have a safety net, if you breach it, you get shot, there's nothing funny about it, like, it's not even a joke, I'm not trying to impress you, it's all the mass, anybody that know me know my history, so they already know, this ain't no story, but you, you can believe it's a story, if you want to base it on a Frictional story. Frictional is not real. My story is non-frictional. People will hurt you. Like dudes that's in the streets. Like, if there's an altercation with an individual, first thing we do is find out if he's a shooter. If he's a shooter, you won't find out what type of shooter he is. Then we react based on what we find out. Some people think it's gangster to have a gun. I think it's normal to have a gun. Actually, kids walk with guns. Men walk with weapons. So these little kids you see running around here with their weapons, just doing any and everything, they got a gun. But a real G carry a weapon because he ain't shooting that shit any and every way. And he ain't trying to show none of his friends. I remember a night we was in the Bronx. A 
was a whole avenue on the wrong side off of Freeman Street. And my homie, he was walking, and he spotted one of our ops in a car, him and his other man. They thought we didn't really see him, so we saw them swing the block twice. And when I saw them the second time, I start blazing. My homies on the street, who's that? He said, the like ops, they start firing too. When we got time to be going through all those documentaries, I fired so many rounds in that fucking car, man. I don't give a fuck who's in the car. I don't care if Jesus' brother in the car. I don't care if Caesar's nephew's in the car. Or Pilate's brother. I don't give a damn if it's Paul nephew. You don't get what belongs to you. You don't suck a nigga's ends. Nah, you don't suck a nigga's ends in Creta. Sometimes when I'm, when I'm home at night, I just don't sleep. I don't sleep because when I'm in New York, I don't sleep at night. Man. That's when your ops come for you at night, but most they'll do it in the day. But they know they're likely to get hit up in the day. But they'll come for you at night fast, man. They'll take care of you before 12 o'clock so you can make tomorrow news. See, after 12 o'clock, whatever is in that paper, that set is sealed. That's hitting the market tomorrow, 12 o'clock at night. About 4 o'clock in the morning when they start disseminating newspapers. They go your big face, you're famous now. You got hit. I'm from Antigua. I don't go on other people's soils and play games. You see me do vlogging and joke, but I don't be joking when I'm in foreign niggas. Yeah, I'll take this break shit for a joke. It's not really a joke. You see what it says? Rugged. You see what it says right there? Terrain. Rugged terrain. I mean, you got a lot to deal with fucking with me. I don't really scrutinize people, but I do examine them, see what they're made out of. Antigua people think that you're supposed to be afraid of them. Like, seriously, like, there's no nigga I can be afraid of. I'll put it like this, his mother died of here in Borneo. I done met the worst dudes in Brooklyn. They're real killers, man. You can't even stare them in the eye. They think that they can't be stared in the eye. I look every man in his eye. Some people actually think they're born to be afraid. You think the Indians are afraid? When you live in a country with bear hunt you and eat you, you think he's afraid? When he get up in the morning, he don't care about no bear. He know he can kill the bear. That's what he is fully aware of. So he's not focused on the bear. He focused on living. That's what exactly what I had to focus on, living my life. I don't really mess with people because people are canavan. They diabolical. They're dangerous. And they tongue twisted. They're tongue twisted. They're the person that carries news. Women carry news, guys carry news. So what I do, I just stare away. I'm, 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 I'm on the outside looking in. Ain't nothing in there for me. I 
I see why the police be clapping down on dudes with guns. Because you have children with guns, they don't know what to do. Then you have a man with a gun for like 20, 30 years and nobody ever knew he had a gun. Because he ain't got no ill intent. You actually need a gun to protect yourself in this world. Antique is the only place, pound for pound, that I know you can't have a gun easily. If you go to the police, they'll put you through hell just to get a legal gun. But yes, sir, somebody can just see you and do you anything. That's not how the world works, man. I know there's structured laws in our judicial system, but some of the laws are not geared towards our sustenance on earth. You gotta sustain yourself. Sometimes you don't want to be valid, but you have to be. It's like sometimes you don't want no pussy, but you still fuck. Peer pressure on your environment. I'm loving life, and I, 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 I decided. Since I was younger, to stay true to life. Don't breach. That's why I'm still alive. Don't breach people. I don't go around when people fear me and try to talk to their friends and their girlfriends. I don't go around my homeboys and try to belittle them because you got a girl and I'm trying to get her. I don't live that life. A, a cruddy dude who's like that get killed off. Man, to your guys be violating people in so many different ways. It's one of the reasons why I don't really associate that much. I'd rather just do vlogs and show. Because you, you, you create a network of friendship. And you just always get fucked over in the end. So why pretend to be somebody you're not? I'm not a friend to nobody. I'm a friend to myself first. friend to my existence. I'm a friend to a healthy body. I'm a friend to eating, active, organic food. I'm a friend to all of these things. But I'm really, really not anyone's friend because a friend will deceive you. Your friendship to yourself won't deceive yourself. That's why I enjoy being my own friend. Sometimes I don't even want a girlfriend. Sometimes you have a girlfriend, you become stressed out. Like you have a girl in your life, but she's watching you like she got you on that microscope. It's because she don't trust you. And you don't trust her either. Because if she don't trust you, you definitely can't trust her. So, sometimes having a girl is cool. It depends on which one you're associated with. But on a normal day, I just like to be dolo. Dolo is solo, you yeah? hear? I'm about to take it down now. I'm just out here 